Welcome to episode 2 of my trophy guide for Demon Souls. In this episode we will go through the first area of the game and beat our first boss. First turn around to pick up some healing consumables. Now follow me through this area, as we pick up items and take out enemies. Try to mimic my style of taking out enemies. I will switch between melee and magic combat depending on the situation. Take out the enemy hiding behind the barricades before picking up the soul. Remember that you can just beat everything with magic. That will make this even easier, but you will have to wait for it to recharge every now and then. Also remember to pick up enemy drops. I ignore them, but they can be healing or even more of what we will use to beat the upcoming boss. Be aware of enemies wielding flaming weapons. Even guarding their attacks will damage you quite a bit, so take a white arc while getting behind them. Lure these enemies around the corner so you can take them out without being shot. Don't get slapped by Sneaky Boy. Pick up these firebombs. We will use them to quickly beat the boss, so don't use them until I tell you to. Keep some distance to these guys to snipe the first one. I set up a safety safe whenever I go through a fog gate. If you aren't sure when to set them up, then I recommend just creating one whenever you see me exiting the game. This enemy can throw firebombs, so keep your distance and hit them with magic. Also use magic against all enemies that attack you on steep stairs. 
The physics in this game allows the enemies to jump a lot farther than you might expect, so don't even risk it. Wait here until the enemy above you stops throwing bombs, then quickly run to the top of the stairs. You can't get hit by said enemy there. Once you ascend these stairs, a boulder trap will activate. Move up slowly to barely activate it and then run back to avoid it. If you move right too early, you will drop down a level, but you will survive. Just get back up here in that case. Then hit this soldier from afar to have him get closer. You don't want to fight him at the exit, as you will expose yourself to another enemy there. Immediately move to the right to hide behind an obstacle and take out the arbalester while he is reloading. Guys with lances are a pain, so just take them out in ranged combat. Stay behind this obstacle as you are being shot again. You might have to get used to backstabbing enemies at first. If you take a lot of damage, then just run back and take some grass to heal. Never run away from enemies in a direction you didn't come from. More firebombs to annoy the boss with. Wait a few seconds as the exploding barrels will hit you even after they exploded. Use ranged combat again while you are descending this staircase. Cut the chains on this balcony with your rapier or press R2 to smack them with your wand.
open this shortcut and pick up the Kling Ring, which is ring 3 out of 30. Then switch the Providential Ring for the Kling Ring so we have more maximum health. Now we can pick up some Aged Spice as well as the Jade Hair Ornament, then climb up the tower back again. Aged Spice replenishes our magic by a good amount, however I want you to not use it yet, as we want to keep it as a backup to use against the boss at the end of the next episode. Remember you can jump over railings by sprinting against them holding circle. Pick up the thief ring, being ring 4 out of 30, then safely clear out the draglings below you while standing atop the ledge. Once the NPC jumps down you can follow them. Pick up the item and then talk to them. This is extremely important. You know you did it right when you obtained the brass telescope. He will then start roaming the area. Since he is strong, it is basically impossible for him to die. I will still clear out all the enemies that he can encounter before I pick up any items and proceed. Do not attack him. Once he turns aggressive towards you, you will have to reload your save file. He might also take a slightly different route, as he does for me. However, the other path has only one singular enemy that you have to defeat.
Pick up the scimitar and replace your rapier with it as it deals a little bit more damage. We will use these sharp stone shards at a later point to upgrade our weapon. Roll through these obstacles and bait the enemies into following you. Don't fight them all on the open square as you get shot there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hit the side of this wooden construction to break it open and clear the path of all the enemies. You will also get hit by the boulders if you get too close. Bait this enemy down the stairs to fight him one on one. Now wait and watch what I do. You will have to do a few things in succession, so watch first and try later. You can also set up a safety safe right here if you feel like you might die. Stand exactly here and wait. You will not get hit by the enemies on the bridge. Wait until the dragon appears. As soon as it starts breathing fire, you start running. You will be able to pick up some key items while the red dragon is gone. Do not get too close to the blue dragon as it can smack you with its tail. The flame resistance ring will be ring 5 out of 30. Once you jump down here you are safe. These are two of three arch stone shards we will pick up during this guide. They immediately teleport you back to any arch stone and I have points where I use them to save a lot of time running back. When you pick up items on the bridge, remember that the dragon won't shy away from frying you as well, so you better be quick. Pull this lever to open the gate to the boss fight. Approach this exit slowly as there are two enemies waiting outside. Kill them with ranged attacks as they enter. Head left first and roll through the rubble to discover some pine resin. This will also aid us against the boss, so do not use it yet. Switch back to ranged only as you descend yet another staircase.
You will also encounter a new type of enemy. They will throw spears at you, so make sure to always block and move around to avoid these projectiles. Open these gates and prepare to face the boss. Put the fire bombs and pine resin in your item slots. Heal if you are low on health and then press down on your d-pad to ready your firebombs. Then set up your safety safe. Watch and listen first how you can beat this boss quite easily. Run dead straight towards the boss and just unload all your firebombs into it. Go after it if it starts pulling back. Once you are out of firebombs, switch to the pine resin and set your weapon on fire. Then just spam R1 till the boss is dead. It can happen that the smaller enemies surround you before you deal enough damage to the boss for them to try healing it. If you get overwhelmed, you can always reload your safety save. Retreating and healing might be counterproductive as your main advantage is the steady dealing of damage, and pulling back will give the boss time to heal and set up its defense again. It might also be nice to hear that with all the strategies I have planned, this boss is actually one of the hardest ones during this guide. Boss-wise, it will get easier the further we go. Beating this boss will net you the Phalanx's trophy. Look around and pick up any dropped items as they might be upgrade materials for our future weapon. Then grab the lead demon soul and travel back to the Nexus. Restart the game and start in online mode. Follow me upstairs to talk to the Monumental. After watching a cutscene, they will ask you to accept the mission. Answer with yes. Yes. Now, the old one. We will now pick up two stones of ephemeral eyes. These are extremely important for managing world tendency later in the guide, so do not use them until I tell you to. It 
It might take a few tries to open this door depending on the stability of your internet or the Demon Souls servers. Restart the game again to go back to offline mode. Might as well set up another safety safe. I will now pick up two items only reachable by some tight platforming. This is basically optional. I do pick up a renowned warrior soul, but you might as well just go back to the first area and kill enemies for 800 souls. You can view this as a little challenge. Now switch the cling ring back for the providential ring and unequip all items except grass. Then go talk to Stockpile Thomas. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch in Choose the talk option. Listen to what he says and then leave. I wish I could do more. You have a heart of gold. Now talk to him again and he will ask for the jade hair ornament you found earlier. Give it to him and you will obtain the ring of Herculean strength, being ring 6 out of 30. It's not much we found it discarded on, it seems to be. Anyway. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch in your belongings. Finally, access his storage and deposit the following. All items except grass, spice and souls. All materials. All unequipped equipment. and the ring of Herculean strength, the cling ring and the thief ring. You have a heart of gold. Now go into your inventory and consume all souls. Never consume a boss soul without me telling you to, as they can and will be used to acquire spells. In this case you can consume the boss soul too. Talk to the maiden in black to acquire some multiplayer items. Braves. Talk to her again and answer yes to level up. Of course, after all, go ahead. Let these vagabonds go. Level your vitality to 14 and magic to 20. If you didn't kill the enemies that I killed, then you might be short on souls. In that case, just go back and farm a bit. Once you're done, go touch the Archstone of the Digger King to travel to the next area. That is where this episode ends. I will see you in the next one.